bid for $10,000 going once, $10,000 going twice. So, the exquisite mirror goes to the lovely lady in lavender. Here is your key, madam. This mirror once belonged to Albert Mort himself. Oh, I cannot wait to behold it. What? What is this? Ominous objects can be dangerous, but it's nothing we can't handle though, right, Mr. Jenkins? <coughs> An owl filling in for a passenger pigeon, perhaps? So, what news do you bring? Oh, a new job. Hmm. This one sounds intriguing. Nice place. You've apparently never heard of gardeners. I see you're keeping yourself busy, Mr. Jenkins. Carry on. What? It came from that mirror? It's either after that boy, or it's got a serious problem with stairs. <laughs> this time the butler didn't do it. If a mirror breaks you, is that bad luck? Oh, thank goodness! It's got my jacket! Please help me take it off! I thought I was finished. Young lady, I owe you my life. Didn't you hire me? I'm Leah Gofford. 
A detective special. It wasn't I who wrote you. Perhaps Madam sent for you? I'm afraid I know little about all this, though it started sh I was watching young Master Patrick today when the mirrors attacked. I'll go for help, Miss Leah. Please, get Patrick out of here. Patrick's clearly distrustful, but I can't blame him. Hopefully, I can make him see that I'm a friend. Patrick, your butler Edward asked me to come here and help you. of their own. Don't cry, Patrick. I'll take care of them. Okay, these are the facts. The first family who owned the mirror died under mysterious circumstances. The mirror was then bought by a wealthy merchant family who also disappeared. The mirror went missing for a long time after that, but it was eventually found at the site of a decisive battle. After the war, the state museum took the mirror, and the museum building was the only one completely destroyed in the earthquake. <laughs> 